Hello students, welcome to this NPTEL Massive Open Online Course on Principles of Communication Systems Part 2. I am Professor Aditya Jagannatham from the Department of Electrical Engineering at the Indian Institute of Technology at Kanpur and I give you a warm welcome to this course Principles of Communication Part 2. Now some of you might already have done Part 1 of this course, correct? Principles of Communication and you have, might be exposed to the fantastic realm, the amazing and awe inspiring realm of communication systems, the modern marvel, uh, technological marvel and especially the fundamental guiding principles, the fundamental underlying principles of the theory of communication systems. And this course aims to extend this similarly, this exciting, I mean aims to give you a similar introduction to the more later developments in this exciting field from a perspective of digital communication. So, so while the first course explored analog, the developments of analog that is early communication system. The second course will exclusively, exclusively focus on digital communication systems and the several underlying principles which form the basis of these modern marvels of technology, correct? So we focus exclusively on digital communication systems and several interesting concepts such as what is the maximum rate? at which it is possible to transmit information over a channel, all right? How do you protect against the errors that arise due to noise over a channel and so on? And uh, I would also like to tell you that although this is part two in principle, in knowledge of part one, that is principles of communication part one is not necessarily, both of them can be studied independent of each other because part one focuses while well, analog on analog communication system. So the theory and the principles underlying them are very substantially different from the theory underlying that of digital communication systems, all right? So part two, so even though you have not taken part part one, there is no need to be disheartened. You can very well, you are very well welcome to go ahead and explore this course which is which will be exclusively focused on digital communication systems. So to go a little bit further, if you look at a schematic of a digital, com typical digital communication system, it has several components, correct? It is a very evolved system which has a signal source naturally which is which can be your microphone which is um, a source of digital voice or your video camera so on which is encoded by this which is followed by a source encoder, channel encoder. Now what do these different terms mean? To understand that we have to look further or we have to go through the course that is channel encoder which codes uh, these signals to protect them over errors occurring over the channel followed by a modulator transmission over a digital communication channel, a demodulator, a channel decoder followed by actual reconstruction of message and then conversion to the signal for output, okay? So there are several components of a digital communication system and each component is very exciting by itself. For instance, when you talk about a transceiver, that is a transmitter and receiver about the, of a digital communication system, what are the different schemes that can be used at the transmitter? What are the schemes that can be used at the receiver to process the received signal, all right, to, to maximize the signal to noise power ratio? How is this done? What is the key underlying principle? We have seen analog modulation schemes such as amplitude modulation, frequency modulation. What are the corresponding digital modulation schemes which are completely different because they are in the digital domain such as binary phase shift keying, frequency shift keying, emery phase shift keying and so on. What is the ex exciting theory, the interesting theory that underlines these, underlies these digital modulation schemes, right? Followed by information theory which is a whole new exciting field which was started by the father of information theory, Claude Shannon, and that has offshoots in so many different areas such as economics, uh, forecasting, etc., stock markets, etc., but its fundamental application is in communication systems. That is, how do you predict the maximum rate at which information can be transmitted over channel? For instance, we look at several communication systems, 3G, 4G, 5G communication system. We talk about the possible rate when we look at a 4G, we talk about the maximum rate, who has the fastest network megabit per second, gigabit per second. How do you characterize this maximum rate at which information can be transmitted in these modern communication systems? Source coding, how do you generate the bits? Like we all know in a digital communication system, symbols, the information is transmitted in terms of bits. But how do you efficiently represent signals in terms of bits? What is the mechanism? What are the different kinds of codes? 
for instance what do we mean by a Huffman code some of these interesting things and finally how do you protect these bits when you transmit them over a channel they can be either intentionally sometimes or unintentionally correct the bits can be changed there can be errors in the bits which results in a bit error rate so how do you protect your signal against such errors correct which occur over the digital communication channel so that leads to convolutional codes channel coding the decoding <coughs> which can be done employing the trellis decoder thanks to uh, the work of uh, Witterby uh, which is a very celebrated Witterby alg algorithm for efficiently decoding of coded communication signals at the receiver all right which makes reliable communication very efficient communication possible in virtually all the modern digital communication systems including your digital telephony set of boxes uh, the modern 3G, 4G, 5G wireless telephony systems, Wi-Fi, so many modern digital, uh, modern communication systems based, based on digital uh, transmission, trans digital transmission of information, which is in, which in itself is a very, very intricate combination of several seamlessly working components. And we are trying to, so this course is basically a simple attempt to explain to you the underlying principles of these various components of a modern digital communication system. Okay? And the aims of this course are very simple to explain to you the fundamental principles of digital communication systems in a way that is very simple and focus not on the higher level principles but fundamental principles which underlie any digital communication system be it your wireless communication system be it your wi-fi be it your digital telephone system be it your set of boxes what is that underlying fundamental principles which can be applied in this wa vast variety of different digital communication systems okay S comprehensively cover several aspects such as transmission modulation the performance how do you characterize the performance the encoding the decoding of this digital communication system and so on okay and this course is interested where the course is intended for any interested student in particular engineering science management students correct who are looking to understand more about digital communication system to gain fundamental insights into the working of these digital communication systems from various perspective or towards various motives correct uh, how does the transmission happen? How does the reception happen? How does the, all the processing happen in digital communication system? It can be suitable for an undergraduate, advanced undergraduate student or also a postgraduate student who are looking to enhance their knowledge and learn things, relearn things from a fundamental perspective, especially students who are perform, who are preparing for, so for instance, various interviews or can be various competitive exams or can be various university level exams could gain a strong foothold in the various concept of uh, concepts of digital communication systems that is the aim of this course okay and uh, uh, now there are not many prerequisites but in this course you will realize that we will heavily use concepts from probability and random process and therefore we already have a dedicated course on nptel on probability and random process for communications especially looking at it from an applied perspective applications in communication correct so you can look at this course on the NPTEL website that is probability and random process in wireless communication. It would be good if you can go through as many modules, at least one or two weeks worth of modules of this course to basically enhance your understanding or to be able to participate actively in this course on digital communication systems because this is going to be uh, going to use extensively principles on probability and random process. Apart from that, as you know, it's going to be mathematics intensive. So it's so it would be good if you can uh, if you're familiar with the basic principles of calculus, linear algebra, etc. So on. And I would like to mention once again that although this is part two of the course principles of communication, it is not required in principle because this course is focused on digital communication, it is not required that the students have done uh, for you to have done POC 1 to understand this course which is POC 2. So with that, I wrapped up this introduction. Thank you for watching so far. I hope I have excited or I hope I have managed to motivate you towards enrolling in this course. I look forward to welcoming you in this course and I hope you have a very joyous experience learning about the various underlying principles of digital communication systems. Thank you so much.